Paul's Pizza Reviews. Yeah. What's up, Pizza Posse? We're back with another special episode of Paul's Pizza Reviews. Back after that debacle of the last review was pretty, pretty awful. So we're back again. Um, I put a poll up and I said that whatever pizza got the most votes I would do next. It ended up being Eat Pizza. Uh, this I got this at Whole Foods. I went to Whole Foods specifically to get pizza to see if I can get something different. This thing looks really good. Um, what's interesting is it tells you four different temperatures you can cook it at. Um, I cranked it up to the highest one and then you finish under the broiler. So we'll see how that goes. This is Eat Pizza's Classic Margarita with Artisan Crust. God, I, I just love Artisan Crust. Uh, fresh California tomato sauce, fresh mozzarella, and fresh basil. Looks great, high expectations. We'll see if it lives up to it. All right, guys, uh, that was pretty quick. Um, five to seven minutes, and then I hit it with the broiler, getting a lot of that fresh basil smell. Um, this thing doesn't look like a traditional frozen pizza you would get. Um, smells good. It's the bottom looks like, I had to show you the bottom because of the debacle the other day. All right, this is hot, so I might burn myself, but let's see how it is. Yeah, this don't taste like no frozen pizza I ever had. Oh, wow. Very crunchy. This, I can see going into a place and like ordering this, like a restaurant, and this coming out. I, I could definitely see that. Yeah, really, really good. Um, the only thing that's going to be a knock on this is the price. Um, it was six ninety nine, um, and it's on the smaller side. Um, typically, those higher price ones are a little bit bigger than this. So that's really the only knock on this thing. Fresh basil's a nice kick to it. Makes it taste like a pizza you would get at a restaurant. Yeah. This is really good. I just had like real pizza for the first time in months yesterday. And I probably didn't even need to get eat it because I could have just ate this instead. This is really good. Um, all right, let's see the scores. We're gonna go three on the price, uh, $6.99 at Whole Foods. And this pizza is kind of on the smaller side, so it's not a great deal. So we're only gonna give it a three. Presentation's definitely a five. Pizza looked great, um, looks a lot better than traditional frozen pizzas, so definitely hit the high mark on the presentation. We're gonna go 475 on the taste. Uh, definitely tastes like something that you would get from a restaurant, so it's definitely the highest rated tasting one I've had so far. So this thing clocks in at 12.75, and that's tied with Red Baron for second place. Uh, it's up there, so it's one of the better ones I had. All right, guys, good score for Eat Pizza's Classic Margarita. Uh, tied with Red Baron for second place on the pizza scale. Um, much better day today than a few days ago when then we had that crap pizza. So all in all, good review. We'll be back soon with another review. Until next time, peace out. Paul's Pizza Reviews.